Okay, so we would like to uh, use the method of Lagrange multipliers in order to find the minimum and the maximum of the function uh, x plus y on the ellipse x squared plus 2y squared equals 6. So um, in this simple case, uh, we should say that uh, uh, we should uh, represent uh, the um, constraint. Uh, so this is called the constraint as uh, the level curve of a uh, function. So let's say that this is represented as uh, g of x, y is equal to zero. And uh, then um, in order to find uh, the critical points, the points of possible uh, extremum for this function on uh, this set, what we need to do is consider the system that the gradient of f is parallel to the gradient of g and that g is equal to zero. And this is the method of Lagrange multipliers. Uh, lambda is an is is a uh, auxiliary unknown that uh, we don't really need to uh, compute it. Theoretically speaking, one should know that uh, for each critical point that we find, there is a valid value for uh, lambda. But in any case, let's try to apply this to uh, our case and see how it works. So. So here's what we do. Uh, first of all, uh, we define g of x, y. So basically, we bring everything to the left-hand side. So we have x squared plus 2y squared minus 6. OK, so if g of x, y is equal to 0, then uh, x squared plus 2y squared is equal to 6, which means that the equation g of x, y equals 0 uh, represents for us the uh, constraint. Then uh, we write down the system, the gradient of f is lambda times the gradient of g and g equals zero. Let's see how this uh, translates. Uh, so the gradient of f is what? It's going to be one comma one. And this is uh, lambda times the gradient of g uh, which is um, 2x and 4y. And also, uh, we have the equation x squared plus 2y squared equals 6, which is a reminder of the fact that everything that we find should belong to uh, this uh, ellipse. And this uh, is further simplified to 1 is equal to 2 lambda x, and uh, 1 is equal to 4 lambda y, and x squared plus 2y squared is equal to 6. So um, this is a nonlinear system, and there are no general methods for solving nonlinear systems. It's very easy to run into a nonlinear system uh, that we cannot solve. However, for this one, um, we can. our starting point is the fact that uh, lambda x and y, all of them are different from zero. Why is that? If any one of them was equal to zero, then one of the first two equations would be meaningless because it would literally read one is equal to zero. So uh, they're all different from zero. And this allows us to take these two equations and divide them by parts. Um, if, if anybody wonders why we can do this thing, it's like, uh, for example, saying that uh, 3 is 3 and 5 is 5, and then 3 over 5 is equal to 3 over 5. That's pretty much what we're doing. Actually, it's kind of fun. In our case, pretty much what we're saying is 1 is 1, and we're dividing them uh, by parts. But in any case, that's a general um, thing that we can do. And here what happens is that uh, lambda and lambda cancel each other. And what we get is 2y is equal to x. And once we have that 2y is equal to x, we plug it into the constraint. And that would give us um, 2y all squared plus 2y squared is equal to 6, uh, which means that 4y squared plus 2y squared is equal to 6, which means that 6y squared is equal to 1, which means that y, I'm sorry, uh, 
y squared is equal to 1, which means that y is equal to plus or minus 1. So if y is 1, then this implies that x is 2. And if y is negative 1, then that implies that x is negative 2. So this gives us two uh, critical points, the point uh, 2, 1, and the point negative 2, comma, negative 1. OK, uh, now our constraint defines a compact set, the ellipse, which means that uh, the minimum and the maximum are guaranteed for the function. And that's why we build the table. We put the candidate points on this table. And then we evaluate the objective function, which is x plus y. So this gives us 3. This gives us negative 3. And we know that uh, the minimum and the maximum uh, are uh, occurring on this set. And so and the only candidates are these two points. And this forces this to be the maximum and this to be the minimum. And that's all. Thanks for watching.